What's up for today? Another lather game shave and the theme is kick the bucket or your desert island shave. Hello again, Michael Friedberg here from beautiful North Carolina and today's shave is another in the Lather Game series. This is the second one of five because there are five Sundays in the month of June. Today's shave theme is the Kick the Bucket or Desert Island Shave, which is supposed to be, I guess, either the items that you would want to use on your last day on Earth, or if you were maybe maroon on the desert island, those most favorite products you'd want to have with you. I'm kind of threading the needle a little bit on this one. Uh, I had a relatively easy choice in terms of the razor for today. I immediately gravitated to the Fine Marvel. This really may well be my favorite DE razor. The other ones that I love are a hair behind it, but my first choice went out for the Fine Marvel. It is the Persona 74 blade in there. I believe that today's shave is number 32 on that blade. The brush for today is going to be Yep, still my rating favorite, although again, there's a brush or two that are a hair behind it, but today it remains my Rod Neep Bored Lignum Vitae Handle Brush. I, this is just my favorite brush. Love this brush. Fantastic way to go. Could be the last brush I ever use. Think about that. In terms of the soap, this sort of becomes impossible for me. There really is no way to just pick a single favorite. It's kind of unfair because Soaps today are so good. They all have kind of a top tier performance. There's five or six or seven or eight or nine. There's a significant number of soaps that are just excellent, excellent soaps. I've had to pick it random from the ones that I have. My actual desert island shave, it might be something like the Cologne Russe scent from Barrister Man, which is one of my absolute favorite scents when it comes to shaving products, but I don't have any of that. So I've had to pick from the products that I have and I've also had to pick from the products in such a way that I don't have any duplicates for the month of June for either the razor or the soap. So that does kind of change what I can do there. But from the ones I could pick from, which was uh, Holy Cow Buffalo Milk Soap, which is fantastic. Declaration Grooming, which is fantastic. Two or three different versions of the Barrister and Man Soaps. A Katie's Bubble Soaps. The Saponificio Varicino. The Abati La Mantilla. The Mickey Lee Soap Works. The list goes on and on and on. I sort of picked at random and it came up with the Declaration Grooming Bison Tallow Trismegistus, which is a beautiful soap and I absolutely love the scent on this. Oh, there you can see it in the container. Uh, yeah, it is starts off with kind of a bright citrus hit. I think the mid notes are something crazy like flint and peppercorn, geranium. And I think the base notes are vetiver and cedar. And I kind of get the top and the bottom there. Uh, it is a beautiful scent. Maybe a touch of the sharpness of the pepper along with the citrus is what brightens it up a little bit. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Even if I didn't know what the notes were, that is a fantastic scent. And I love the soap. So in terms of the choices, very, very good. Let me just wet the brush through. I have a dollop of that that I pulled out into the Caption Choice loading bowl. I probably wouldn't have this with me on a desert island but maybe I could use it to slurp water out of work. Anyway, I'm just wetting the brush again. My face is already a little bit wet. I'm gonna go ahead and start loading with a relatively dry brush. I'm gonna load pretty heavy, as I have been every day of these lather games. I've really been enjoying this, by the way. This has been really fun to use a different product set every day, rather than the kind of routine, use a product for a week for review, which I will 100% keep doing. I think people are still getting quite a lot out of those reviews. At least it seems like some of you are still enjoying those. Um, I'm hoping they're proving useful to you. I am not, unfortunately, able uh, at this point to just keep up with all of the new stuff. It's kind of impossible to do. Um, I still have items from a year ago from the Maggard Meetup, and I just got some new ones as well. I'm not able to attend, unfortunately. I would have loved to be there to meet all of you that went and uh, be able to shake hands and chat a bit about shaving and whatever else comes to mind was not meant to be this year. But yeah, I'm hoping that people are still finding that review format useful. I, I am still enjoying it, but it is really nice to take a break and do something a little bit different. And as I said, it'll be five different shaves for the month of June. This is not really a review in any way. This is just kind of a, well, this could be my last shave ever. What if it was, this is what I would pick. 
or stranded by myself on a desert island where frankly I don't know that my first order of business would be getting my shaving going but you know mm. man the scent is just fantastic on this soap Obviously, I've loaded quite a bit, so I'm going to add a bit of water now. And you can see that's already starting to get a very nice sheen to it. And you can see the bottom of my neck, how that's beginning to form clots. But a heavy, dense clumps of lather. There we go. It's my last shave ever. A bit more water. Well, if that's the last lather I ever make, I want to be pretty happy with that. Wow, yeah, that soap is so easy to use. You can use much more water if you want. You can keep adding water. You can get it to be kind of a very, kind of thin, very shiny lather. This is already plenty slick. Warming up the razor, this is the Persona 74 blade. As I said, I'm pretty sure this is shave number 32. I didn't check before I started this, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. I have to say, so far I've had, in the last couple days, Shockingly good shades with this blade. Now the only difference is that today is only one day's of growth because I am shaving every day this month. But still. Great slickness on the soap and that blade is still doing very well. Yeah, I have to say, this razor is just really an excellent razor for me. I can definitely understand why people would want to see something done about the safety bar structure because it is, it is quite large and there's quite a bit of surface that's touching your skin. I don't find that it sticks or that it hesitates or anything like that, but maybe they'll do something in a future version of this, you know, maybe do light scalloping or something like that. I mean, the razor is good enough. I bought a second as a backup. All right, pass number two. Yeah, Desert Islander kicked the bucket shave. There really is two different ways you could go there. Desert Island, I think you'd want products that would last and last for as long as you could go. So maybe you take a tuck of the Visimet blades and some very hard soap, like Pré de Provence, maybe. Or the Dr. Selby's, which is also a very hard soap, or Martin de Canto, or something like that, where you know you're gonna be getting a lot of shaves off that one puck because it is quite concentrated. Also, unlikely to go bad in the hot climes of the desert island. All right, pass number two, this is Across the Grain. Pretty sure though that shaving would not be the first thing on my mind on a desert island. I 
Now this blade is definitely not as smooth as it was obviously in the first week or two, but it's not rough, it's not tuggy. It just feels a little bit different. Still smooth, but not quite as smooth as it was obviously. Is it going to make it to 100 shaves? I don't know. But I definitely want to try. All right, last pass. I mean, if I had to pick between something like a multi-tool, like a Leatherman or something like that, and a fire starting kit, and my shaving gear on the desert island, yeah, I know what I'm picking. Still plenty of soap in there. If you can see what's happening in the bottom of my neck, it is still very dense, creamy, great structure to it. One might call this a mid-high, low, mid-high tier structure with a mid-high point of low mid structure. That's for those of you that love to talk about lather structure. There we go, let's squeeze out some of that remainder. Wow. Yeah, that is really, honest to God, crazy good. I'm taking my time because like I said, what if this is the last shave ever? What am I rushing for? Yeah, that famous line from Woody Allen, it goes something like, I'm not afraid of dying. I just don't want to be there when it happens. All right, last pass against the grain. And also, if it's your last shave, how careful would you be in terms of something like razor burn? Or would you just go for it? And try to get the baby butt smooth shave of the century. Light touch. Yeah, one of the shaves I'm not looking forward to is a shave with the products that you don't like or don't love or hate. I think the combination of this blade and the razor that I'm going to pick for that is going to be unpleasant. There we go.
But the person who asked about my Adam's apple, no hair grows right there. It stops right above it. So I guess I'm lucky in that regard. For men with pronounced, pronounced Adam apples and hair down there, that is a very, very easy place to nick yourself. There's a person who asked for a shout out, which I will likely do next week. I think there's at least one, maybe two. But don't worry, I'll wave at you right now and then a shout out for next week. All right, rinse off. Post shave on this, the residual slickness is really excellent. And just in terms of like basic skincare, you know, the ingredients in the soap to kind of overcome the, the natural drying of your skin when you use soap in the first place, very, very good. What I'll have to do for the Barrister Man, the Excelsior base, is either get a full-size tub or a larger sample, and then try that again with more water and see. But this and the Holy Cow, are probably my two favorite post-shave feels, honestly. Very, very good. There are other soaps I've used, like the La Riata from Abate de la Mantilla, but I don't have any of that now, so I can't go back and kind of double check my, my memory of them, but that was also an, an excellent, excellent post-shave. Yeah, at this point, I mean, you're kind of just picking from absolutely stellar, top-notch soaps, so, you know, the whole favorite thing, eh, I don't know. All right, um, aftershave. Well, what else could it be but this guy? So I'm gonna give it a gentle shake. Oh, this smells a little bit lighter, a bit more of this citrus to me. Mild sting, but nothing bad at all. Mm, wow. Mmm, God, this stuff just smells fantastic. Feels great going on. Nice combination of kind of a, I don't know, a brief hit. Some, uh, I don't know, a touch of the witch hazel, I think. There was some other, I think there was chamomile was in here. And what else? There's some, oh yeah, sea buckthorn fruit extract. White willow bark extract. Grape seed extract. Uh... This is witch hazel, aloe, vegetable glycerin, touch of menthol. Mm. Oh, wow, man, that is just beautiful stuff. All right, we are gonna call it quits right there. Lather Games, day number nine, Desert Island, kick the bucket shave, done. Still standing, that's a great sign. Let's review super quick what I included for this shave. One of my absolute favorite soaps. I love the scent and I love the performance. This is just an excellent, excellent soap. One among a number of excellent soaps, but this is the one that I picked for today. Beautiful product. If you don't have some, you 100% should try some. This bison tallow formula is excellent. Followed up, of course, with the matching aftershave splash, witch hazel, menthol, and a variety of other botanical, skin soothing, and healing items in there. Beautiful stuff. Love the aftershave as well. A nice touch of menthol for, for a bit of cooling. Not so much in my eyes water, just below that, which is great. The Fine Marvel Razor with the Persona 74 blade on, I think, the 30-second shave. Still going strong. You can see how that turned out. Not too shabby. If this was, in fact, the last shave ever, I would be extremely happy with that. Of course, let's not forget our dear friend, the Rodney Lignum Vitae Bora brush. Beautiful brush, great shape to the bottom. Uh, I kind of wish that it was a bit longer at the top there because I'm finding that it is actually a little short to hold. Still a beautiful brush, but I am beginning to turn, I think my preferences in terms of the handle shapes, I would like to see this sort of mirror at the bottom as well. This hard break for me is just makes some of these brushes a little harder to hold than they could be, which is why I went for the handle shape I did on that Dogwood Handcrafts custom brush, which yes, you will see potentially in one of the future shaves. It depends on which ones come up for the uh, for the Sunday shaves in the course of the Ladder Games month of June 2019. All right, that's it. 
Thank you again so much for watching. I really appreciate the time you're taking to watch these. I hope you're enjoying these slightly different versions of the shave videos. Of course, as always, please feel free to leave questions or comments or feedback on this video or any previous video. Thank you again so much for watching, and until next time, goodbye.